Crookshank Detention Facility is our juvenile hall for San Joaquin County. There's a lot of times where kids come in and they're really confused. They don't fully understand everything that's actually happening. We had a lot of students that were having physical outbursts against other students, against staff, and it became apparent that there was a need to try something a little different. So we thought maybe we need to try to bring an artist to come in to be able to do art therapy with students. Art was introduced here a little over four years ago. We had had a pretty rough year had a lot of kids who were really struggling with mental health issues and we brought Aaron in to do art with the kids and it was amazing from the beginning. It began, it started off with the camp. When our camp was open, it started off with, with her implemented with some of those youth with, that were court committed and then it just kind of spiraled into our just grew into the whole facility you know when it first started it had some ups and some downs you know when you're dealing with youth with behavioral problems sometimes it's a little rough but once they they kind of understood it was something different than just basic like school work like they they kind of bought in and it gave them an avenue to express themselves i remember my first day there was pe in the morning and there happened to be a fight and uh, you know, everyone got down and there was pepper spray, the whole thing. And when everything got settled down and the students went to the classroom and I started teaching some abstract painting techniques, there was a moment where the room was complete silent. And I was looking around at the teachers and staff and we were all just like, oh my God, this is amazing. This, like, this, this could be something because you have to put that energy somewhere. The energy doesn't go away. The emotions that these students are feeling, where do those go? Well, they could continue to fight, they can continue to make the same choices, they can continue to hurt themselves, or they can try something new and to put that energy towards something else. Art is simply just a tool for that. When I paint, bro, I'm really, I'm not like, I'm not thinking about stuff. Like, I'm not thinking about my core or like what my mama doing, what my brother doing. I'm not thinking about that type of stuff. It's kind of like an like outlet instead of me thinking about what's going to happen at court. I'm thinking about, yeah, what colors am I going to use on this tree or something like that. And so it's, it's a better thing to think about than the regular bullshit. My experience was very hard. I didn't know if I wanted to come out of my room or program at the time. I didn't really want to function the way I wanted to until I discovered painting. At first, my first couple times painting with her, I didn't want to, I didn't want to finish painting. I didn't like painting at first until I actually started thinking more about it and I started liking how peaceful it is to paint because some people doesn't know how it feels to be um, in here and it's very loud, obnoxious 24-7. But with art around, it is peaceful and quiet and everybody can have that chance to think to themselves and be in their own thought. It's giving us something to look for while we're in here, but also something to do when we get out, like, like a different avenue besides like whatever we were doing. Something, something better, something that's actually can get you somewhere especially if you're good at it. Sometimes like with these young men, if you're from this area, it's the same thing, gangs, prostitution, violence, robbery, something different. It's something different, you know. It's, it's, you can be an artist without rapping or, or tagging. It's, it's, you can paint. You can express yourself in different ways, uh, uh, different art forms. So I think that's the, that's the biggest thing that I say. Give them, give them another tool to express themselves. I think my grades, they, they change a lot. Like, now that I'm painting, now that I can focus and I found my peace, I can focus on school, my grades, and grades are like painting when it was, was back then, like it was, I just think it was a grade. But now that I learned how to paint, it just made me focus and found my peace. So when I do something, it just makes me feel good. Like, makes me feel like I'm doing it right. 
it is important to have art in here because like how I found my inner peace and patience and to have self-control all from art, I believe it can find something unique about others also. No matter what they did, no matter who they are, they can still create something beautiful in life and to open a door for themselves by just creating a painting that they would admire and show others what they can put their mindset into. When you're in here, you are surrounded by cinder block walls. And so we wanted to be able to figure out a way to bring color and life to everything that they would see on a daily basis. From the art therapy classes became opportunities for the students to work with the teachers to be able to create murals. And probation was all about partnering to be able to make that happen. I worked with probation and San Joaquin County Office of Education of creating a bunch of murals that are scattered all around the facility that are all designed by students. And so now you walk into this hallway, which used to be stark and gray, is now these scenes with these stories of all these just very calming nature scenes. Art is important here because it brings everybody as one. It gives everybody the time of day to be quiet and think peacefully. When I paint the sky, it just reminds me of like being like just being free and like being out out there in the real world again. I like starting something from scratch and then like seeing what it comes out to be after like all my time and stuff. I kind of think about it as like as life, you know. Like you add all these different components, all these different things onto just a blank slate, and you get whatever beautiful picture you come out of it. And that's kind of like, I guess like a metaphor for my life, because I'm just waiting for that clean slate, that second chance that they're finally going to give me. Having this art program, along with trauma-informed education and restorative practices, we've reduced our suspension rates significantly over the last five years. Art has allowed them to exercise their emotions in a completely therapeutic way. You have many students that have gained confidence in many other areas of their lives, including going to college, doing much better academically while they're in class because they've been able to exercise their emotions in a different way. That's not doing something physical to hurt someone. What I try to teach my students is you can't fail at art. You can make mistakes, sure. You can feel like you've completely destroyed your painting, but you can always add another layer to it. And I think what that's teaching these young men and women is you can't change the past. That layer will always be there, but you can transform it into something better. A lot of these students come in here feeling like they're a failure and through creative expression, they're giving themselves some space to explore the truth of who they are, that there's more to them than their past, giving them that sense of power and self-reliance to change. What we look at, what we really work on is ensuring that we do everything that we can to make change for every single individual that's here. No matter what has happened in the past, every single one of our young people that are here, they have the opportunity and the capability to tackle any challenges that they have in life. And if they do it in a more therapeutic sense, by not allowing that negativity to creep in and learn from their mistakes, anything's possible.